see Bollywood is not being that one of the few. Yeah, you're right. Just strangely enough, and I've, I've always found it crazy. One minute, Abdul. And I always found it ludicrous that a point of discussion you're talking about LGBT issues is the, the first knee-jerk reaction is everyone says about this because conceivably there could be no due to be concerned about something. Uh, it, it, it's something that came up shortly. A, a lot of media people ask me that. You know, aren't people will think that you're gay and think, okay, first yeah, that's the real. You're just pretty, you know. Not Thank you. <laughs> I, I I never quite knew, I, I'm still not really sure how to answer the question because it's not relevant. Whether I'm not gay, it's that's that's not the point. What we're actually talking about here is their men. It it becomes a kind of a distraction to ignore what you're actually talking about. Uh, by by creating a tamasha and by by, by creating a distraction here. So I, I try to guess look look at what we're we're talking about. Okay, we're coming back to the that you know you decided to go I know you Nothing is the right to bring, but we won't get into that. It's another. Uh, the fact that you went out there and did that is the reason is were you motivated in some way with her sexual orientation? Well, what if what this while the others don't seem to do this? Again, I'm not talking about them. They want to be uh, away from controversy, or don't want to get into the ring, so to speak. That never really entered into my thought process. It's only about, and I feel specific rights and issues. This is something we in India are dragging out. We're setting ourselves up for embarrassment from the world. If you look around the world, uh, the, the debate is and there is a greater degree of, of freedom in the world. And there is going to come a point where we're going to look very, very foolish on the world stage. In fact. And I, I'm, I'm trying to make us wish. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but uh, just one important question. Do you think Bollywood is doing enough? We've seen years. I don't care the fact that you know, you're portraying the game. That's all fine. Uh, done with this day, obviously. But do you think the Bollywood celebrity, a lot of people who sell lots of brands, or sell lots of Bollywood, do they do enough? I think it's not set any one particular in the film industry, whether it is sports or whether it is. It, it is a personal feeling, it is a positive. If you feel it, if you believe it, you stand up and, and speak uh, on these issues. It is not as a reflective of the film industry. It's just me, what I think and what I feel. Other people, only they may not even agree with me, and that is their choice. You need a lawyer, you win. <laughs> Very skillfully put. Okay, fair enough. But the point it could help if we had more Bollywood uh, presence. You know, it would be nice. nice. You know, yeah, exactly. After that, you started making faces with the, the known face of the day. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on to Selena J. Ladies and gentlemen, of season, because she's really, this is her thing now. Instead of everything else, everybody knows that she's really striving for uh, sexual orientation of any, uh, you know, not to be an issue anywhere in the world, especially here. Uh, can you tell us how you got involved uh, this activism, particular campaign, and also what you do, what are your hopes for this video in particular? Uh, Imran said, either you feel for or don't. It comes from within. It's not a very diplomatic or political beauty queen cause, definitely. As many people ask me why this cause, why not something else. It's you something only because you feel it from here. You can't just change people's attitudes, laws and policies. You have people's attitudes from the heart and the mind. Also, and I have to change my attitude first because I did this uh, industrial brain. And uh, I, my people who taught me everything that I am, something as simple as putting in a, who, there were people who, in fact today I am a makeup artist who actually teaching for Miss India. I ended up, and, um, he used to be like a local live in Calcutta. When he, um, the last thing he had told me, Selena, I don't know to be able to have a happy family. The man I love, the man to have a family. I cannot have children and I am just in a prison. I don't wish to be in that. In one week, tragic accident. And that's realized that there are many people in a prison and take our basic rights so much. Nobody is asking for extra rights for the LGBT community. What we are talking about is equal. That's all that we are talking about. I feel that coming to our way is an initiative of the free and equal can present to connect with the masses through that one thing that fails to bring a smile on the emerging trend of Hollywood. The language of music. Music can make you cry, music can make me, music can just make you people answer music can do many things to a human being which you be in a better place to explain. Every background, both of us. And honestly, music is the best thing. And we thought why not pull together the emerging trend of Bollywood was Mr. Radcliffe's idea and get a great track, uh need a wonderful rendition of Utre Sabke made me sing it. And uh, with the video with a beautiful message for everyone, not about gay rights, it's about human rights, and together we can build the world that's free and equal. Uh, thank you very much, Sri Indian Ethic, for uh, showing some of that. Are you here? Not even on
to begin with, and uh, www.unfa.org. And you can go there and watch the video. Our aim with the video to ha is to have as many views as possible. And the more the views, the more our message goes to people. So please go, watch the video, share it, like it, and repeat it, retweet it. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, retweeting is very important. Thank you. Are you Hemal from Xavier's? <coughs> oh, hi. Okay, personal. Moving on to the next part. Can, I, can okay. I just tell? I just wanted to add one thing that, uh, of course, this video is really of, uh, of interest uh, primarily to people in India and South Asia. But what we have found is that there is enormous interest, uh, much wider interest also in, uh, in Europe, the US, and Latin America, uh, other parts of Asia. I think if you put uh, United States and Bollywood, and gay in the same sentence, then you have, uh, people are curious, so we're getting, uh, we're getting a buzz uh, also in other places. Fair enough, yeah, very, very well put. Uh, question number 13. Yes, yes go ahead. Uh, Imran and Sarina both. Um, I have a publication and name. And this is Ray from Pro Volume. Uh, so, uh, okay. Imran and Sarina, since uh, both of you are born and, uh, and a public figure, uh, people follow you like anything, whatever you do, whatever you speak. So, what was the first thing when, uh, which just came up to your mind when uh, why you uh, should come up with this uh, initiative, this was? What was the first thing which just came up to your mind? Okay, I think they've kind of answered that question as to why you got into the whole process, but uh, the short... Uh, the, the short recap is this. That <laughs> it's, we're, we're, again, we're, we're talking about human rights. It's, it's, the, I, I think there's still a sense where we, uh, people see this as a marginalized issue, as a fringe issue, uh, and it's that's not serious. Yeah, that, that's that's really not the case. We we are talking about discrimination against people for absolutely no reason. It it just doesn't make sense. And we will discriminate against questions which are repeated. Go ahead. Want to answer follow up? Yeah. Can I just add one thing? Us in India, people are much more inclined to their religious views. So, what do you think? Uh, what kind of impact uh, such kind of initiative? can be in the society through religion. Firstly, with, uh, due respect to everybody's religion, um, I am a child of a Christian mother and a Hindu father. I've been asked all my life, what are you? What are you? What are you? So it was always I turned to my parents and asked them, what am I? So they said, choose for yourself. Now my parents said that to me and I chose a lot myself. Religion teaches you to discriminate to insult another human being's basic right. That's what every religion teaches you. No religion teaches you to humiliate other people. That's what we should learn from religions and not what people interpret religion to be. Giving somebody their rights does not diminish your rights in any way. It's as simple as that. And it's got nothing to do with religion. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Ardash Lavan. I'm from India.com. My question is to Selena, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, in your video, we saw that uh, the eldest member of the family was the first one to take the plunge and accept gay marriage. Uh, do you think in a country like India, uh, where that age bracket you do not have access to internet or the modern values of views, <coughs> how do you think this message can get conveyed to them and uh, they would take the plunge in their life and accept gay and lesbian marriage? Uh, I'd like to reiterate here, uh, in no way have we shown a marriage here. This video, my friend, is about a welcome of, uh, of a boy who brings his very special friend, his, maybe he's the life partner, uh, maybe he's going to be the life partner, so we've left that to the next video. We have to take the first step in faith, we don't have to see the whole staircase. That's what Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King said. And what I would like to say is that People who cannot have an access to this video, we do uh, very soon intend to have a tie-up with various uh, channels who have pledged their support to us and have a run of the video, uh, thanks to Sarigama's help as well, on all channels. So I'm sure this video will have a very big reach to the, uh, to the people who do not have access to the internet. I was trying to say is will the older generation empathize with the grandmother? Uh, yeah. The worry is that they will... The older generation will surprise you, man. Very, very often. You might have been a naughty boy. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen very, very often in, in cases of various prejudices, it's often the old members of the families who are the first ones to say, listen, let's not take all of this too seriously. Chill out. Okay.